Hi everyone and welcome to Modeling Week. I've tried to make this video several times, so hopefully this one works. Um, BD is here today, once again, acting as my assistant. So we're gonna be showing you how to get started working in Insight Maker. So this is just kind of a brief overview of how to, you know, get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And you can see here on Canvas that we have a lot of information available for this week. So we have this video, which will be linked here, a brief introduction by me. And then you have two video tutorials, an Insight Maker guide, which is a very extensive guide to Insight Maker, and then a really quick Insight Maker cheat sheet. So it helps describe what the difference between a stock, a variable, and a flow are, which will come in very handy when creating these models. So, to get started with Insight Maker, you're going to go to insightmaker.com and you're going to create a free account. So this program is free and open source. A lot of it is public and uh, all you have to do is enter your email and a password. They don't really email you and from what I've seen, they haven't really um, shared my data or anything. So pretty uh, low risk. So go ahead and make a free account and once you make your free account, you can log in and it'll start keeping your Insight Maker models under this account. Once you get to your account, I would go to create new insight, which will be to create a new model. When you click on it for the first time, it gives you all of these Insight Maker basics, which gives you step one and step two of building your model and then making your model public and sharing it with other people. So throughout build your model, uh, there are links to helpful examples or tutorials or information. But in general, you're going to create your diagram, you're going to run your simula simulation, and then you can analyze your results. And it gives you um, helpful information for creating your diagram, running your simulation, and then looking at your results. On the right hand side, you can also link to show me how to build an insight. And when you click watch this short video, this is the tutorial that's also linked on this Canvas video. that gets you started with building your model. There's also this Insight Maker detailed manual, which it, along with the manual also has a community forum. So if you're struggling with anything and nobody in the class can help and maybe I'm even confused, uh, I would post it on the community forum and see if you can crowdsource some additional help. Uh, finally, there is, move out of the way. There is a free online educational course, which is, I think it's kind of cool. It's modeled as a model and you work your way through the course. So your first one is learning about the limits of inference. And then um, you'll work through the components of this, move on to the next one, the essence of relationships. And eventually you get down to how to share your data, how to document your data. Um, I think this is a little more advanced than what we're asking you to do in this course, but if you really find that you like modeling, I think it's a useful skill to have for research in the job market, and I would encourage you to maybe work through some of these and see if you can become very proficient at creating models. All right, so once you feel like you're ready to go ahead and get started, you can click, click me to clear this demo, and it takes away everything that's blocking you from your model page. So once that's cleared away, you can start working with your model. So you can add your stock, variable converters, other you know, text information, your flows and transitions, hit save, hit simu simulate. You can also edit for cut, copy, um, zoom. And then style is where you'll change font and color. Share is how you can import and export Insight Maker models. This export is how you're gonna export your Insight Maker file to upload to Canvas to prove that you've done the work. And then tools will be uh, comparing results, sensitivity testing. We're not really gonna be working with the tools very much right now. Finally, this button all the way to the right will take you back to the Insight Maker home. Uh, if you wanna find more insights, that'll link you to the Insight Maker examples. So find more insights, you can see that they're grouped based on their tag. So if you're interested in climate, you can look at all the Insight Maker models that are publicly available dealing with climate. So 2014 weather and climate extreme loss um, of arable land. Oh, you can see this is a pretty big model. But um, if you can look at other people's examples and that's one of the good things about Insight Maker being open source and so publicly av available. 
once you have started making your model a little bit, then you will have the option to, let me see if I can, uh, so, okay, well, uh, you can have the option to make your model public or private once you start building your model. Since I haven't built anything yet, it doesn't give me this option, but you can edit the description, save a title, and create and pick if it's public or private. Maybe that becomes available if I save it. Oh yeah, okay, so for here I would have to save it. Sometimes it'll come up on the right hand side, but this is where you name it, you create the tags that will put it into the bins, create a description, and then choose public or private. On Canvas, there are two video tutorials, as I mentioned, the guide and the cheat sheet. There are also these two tutorials, predator prey model and a disease dynamics model. These are step-by-step -step instructions for you to build your own model. So once you've created your own blank canvas in Insight Maker like this, I would like for you to choose either predator or prey or disease dynamics or both if you feel like you want to or you need the extra help and work through these step-by-step. -step. So create a new stock named moose, create a new flow going from the empty space to the primitive moose. So walk through this step-by-step, -step, make sure you can do it correctly and export your file and upload it to Canvas here to get credit for doing that assignment. Also in the studio engagement, you're gonna be working with your group to be brainstorming about model ideas and looking at various examples. And your discussion is also going to be about Insight Maker. So I highly encourage you to get around in here, see uh, how you do it modeling, have some fun, look at examples, create your own, do the tutorials. Email me if you have any questions. You can also engage your uh, group members in the discussion. And uh, I hope you all really like it. So with that, I hope you have a great day. And uh, Beefy is working really hard back there. Uh, so I, with that, we'll see you later. Bye.